your girl Alice and you're welcome to my channel how are you all doing today we are going to be talking about things to do to be the perfect son or daughter-in-law so you finally seen a guy that or seen a girl that likes you that has fallen in love with you and the person now said okay come and meet my parents so today I'm going to teach you guys steps to take do's and don'ts to be that perfect daughter or son in law stay tuned guys so number one thing you should not forget is when you are going to visit you should go with a gift trust me parents love gifts even if it's and and it's not how much or how expensive it is that matters the idea that you put thought into visiting them is what is really important so you should go with the gift is a woman you can buy a jewelry ankara fabric a bag something nice if it's a man you can go with a bow tie a drink anything just make sure you go with a gift the next thing is cover up look responsible so if you are a girl you cannot go and start showing your breast you cannot show and start showing your bum bum wear something covered in fact Forget all your bad character, your bad girl and your slay queen outside. When you are going, wear, a, wear something covered, wear something responsible. And if you are a guy, this is not the time to start wearing sleeveless, singlets, or start wearing show chest. No, wear a nice shirt, a trouser. If possible, tuck in. Tuck in and um, yes, that's that. Then the next one, remove your nose, nose ring and leg chain. If you are a girl, you are doing uh, no, I can wear what I want. I know how I can express myself. Mba! Remove it. <laughs> they don't want to know. The next one, hide your tattoo. If you have tattoo in um, areas that are visible, cover it up. Buy foundation, cover it up. Or wear something to cover it up. It's not their business. They don't even have to know. Trust me, in their mind, anybody with tattoo is a vagabond. And it's not from a home. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. The next one is when they ask you, what do you do? If you are a musician, say, eh, I'm a banker. If you are a photographer, there's nothing wrong with these jobs actually. They are beautiful jobs that make so much money, but they do not understand. In their mind, you just have to be a lawyer, a banker, or a doctor. Any of these three. So don't forget. <laughs> yeah, so the next one. Get ready to kneel down or prostrate if you are Yoruba. In fact, if you are not Yoruba, even Yoruba people like it. So immediately you see your mother-in-law, you just kneel down. Good morning, ma. If, it's, if you're a guy, just try and prostrate. I'm not saying you should lie on the floor. But if they are Yoruba, roll on the floor because they love it. In fact, then, anytime you will fight, it's you, your child, it's their child they'll be blaming, not you. They'll say, ah, oh, my, that child has respect. Don't forget that. Then the next one. Anytime they call you or anytime you see them, yes sir, yes ma, you can say one million times. How are you fine ma? How are your parents good ma? Ma, how are you? Ma, this, ma, that, sir, this, sir, that will be like, this girl is from a home. This man is from a home. Do not forget. Don't say I did not do something to help your life. Mm-hmm. The next one is make sure if you see, if you are your girl and you see her in the kitchen, always go and say, ma, don't worry, let me continue. Even if you don't know what they are cooking, you figure it out. <laughs> exactly so you just go and say please ma how can i help and they'll be so happy they will like you the next one they like this word what can i do to help you if they come to the house and they are cleaning they are sweeping no man let me help you let me help you they'll say, oh, boy, this child can take care of my son this boy can take care of my daughter yep so the next one is um Call them every week to check up on them. They love you to call them. If you don't call them, they'll be like, ah, that girl does not call me. And they don't have anything to tell you. But just call. Hello, ma. How are you? I just said, let me check up on you. Ma, how is daddy, ma? How is work, ma? This one, just be putting ma, ma, ma. And they will love you. The next number, uh, the next point, sorry, is... Uh, don't call them by their name. Okay, well, I don't think I'm, this is up for discussion. If you're in Nigeria, you know that already. You cannot try it. You call them mommy, daddy, missus, or something. You cannot call them by their name. Then, if you are in a gathering, like, okay, he now says, okay, come, my family, they are doing a function. And you are a lady. And they are busy. All the women are busy in the kitchen. And you, you are sitting down with the guys. <laughs> Who are you? Don't try it. They'll be like, this one cannot take care of my son. Never. Don't try it. If you are you go for a function and everybody is serving, join them. They need to know how strong you are, how you can take care of their own son too. Hope you understand. <laughs> yeah. The next one. Mm, 
When when they give you food, make sure you finish it. Don't remember, don't waste their food. You can't even you can't try it. Make sure you finish everything. Or take what you can finish to be on the safe side. Yep. Then try to learn some of their languages. Maybe good morning, you say Karoma, Odabo, Eshe, if you're Ibo, Kachifo, Ibolachi. Just learn those small, small greetings. That means they will, they will know that you are ready to even come into their life to become their own. Like if you're a guy, when you learn their Igbo language, you'll be like you're even making efforts to be among them, to be part of them. Mm -hmm. Then you know parents how they have like to crack some jokes that are not funny but this time you need to laugh so when they say ah, look at that boy <laughs> oh my god your dad is so funny you're very funny sir yes you are ready to marry laugh at their funny jokes even if you silly laugh then uh if you're a feminist forget all your ideology outside when you come in forget it they will tell you that hope you can cook yes sir can you wash clothes yes sir can you do this yes sir hope my son is taking care of you yes sir forget everything about feminism at the door they don't understand and if they ask you do you stay do you live alone no ma i stay with my parents so i stay with an uncle those are the things trust me if you do all of this you'll be their favorite in-law ever and they'll be asking you when is the date when are you guys getting married so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video some of all these things are really extreme some of them are really the truth so you should be able to find a middle ground amongst everything i have said i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and um, if you did i want to hear from you guys kindly comment in the comment section do not forget if you're a new viewer kindly subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching and see you guys in my next video bye guys